Hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushka, as you probably know, because <laughs> most of you have been here before, God knows. There's nothing new under the sun in this joint. Uh, I'm uh, here to show you today a couple of games. This one is really just me and my excuse to play the Carnarvon, which I love. Now, a lot of people don't like this tank, but the reason I am playing this tank is because there is a game coming up from the tank preceding it, the Black Prince, Ooh, it's quite the showcase. Uh, now, why do I love this tank? Gun depression. Incredibly accurate gun. Great pen. Brilliant, amazing aim time. High DPM. Tick, tick, tickety-boo. Relatively mobile, tier 8 heavy. Tickety, 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 tickety-boo. But delivers that with pew, 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 pew weapon. Negative. And a lot of people don't like this tank because of that. Um, I find the Carnarvon quite the contrary to be an incredibly effective vehicle. Something that I actually do very, very well in. And overall, the Brute TDs that people don't tend to love uh, have been buffed again and again and again until they are now really, really lovely vehicles. And you're going to see something that it doesn't do well here uh, in just a second. Because the Carnarvon has a low alpha strike, when you hit a, uh, a track like that, it doesn't always blow the track off because it takes two shots because the track hit points are such that your low pew 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 gun doesn't do the business. But did you also say we bounce shots because the Carnarvon, it's actually a lot tougher than people give it credit for. <clears throat> and a lot of people will start pushing up on it thinking that it's not very intimidating and yet it just never ceases to shoot. And by the time they've put one shot off, you've pumped them chock full of the good stuff. Now, this is going to become increasingly evident as you watch the next replay, the replay that we all really came here for. And this is me just <laughs> indulging my child because this is my channel, man. I love playing Blitz and I like to get replays out there as well, but I love playing my tanks and the Carnarvon has long been a tank that I've championed. So many people play the really super derpy tanks, the IS-3, the IS-3 Defender, the IS-6, the IS-5, the IS-2SH, the Glacial, the Object 252U. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. These massive, big, slow kind of guns that just don't have what it takes in terms of pinpoint accuracy. They are blunt force trauma. The Carnarvon is the finesse mechanic. The guy who utilizes some really different skills to dominate. And I do find that this tank dominates uh, tier eight meat heavies like the that I mentioned before, because it has a really strong turret and gun mantlet and, and heaps of gun depression, great pen and great DPM. So when you play it and you utilize those things, you get love. This, this is a game. <laughs> this is quite the game. Tier seven heavy setting off on a personal journey. <laughs> this is, and you can see Indivar Mala of the IND clan. I'm guessing that stands for Indo, Indonesia. Uh, on the Asia server, I believe. Just rolling out in a very fine looking specimen. Lovely camo here too. I run this camo on my FV4005. I really like it. Um, but this is a massively underrated tank. And I originally, when I recorded the first review of this tank, uh, called it the Black Wince. Uh, not the Black Prince, because I'm a dad and I love puns. And wincing is exactly what this tank used to make you do. It was so slow in a game that was dominated by speed, at a tier that was dominated by speed. Um, it has been buffed again and again. So many of these British tanks got buffed. And this thing is now just an absolute monster. Uh, it is legitimately a great side scraping tank. It is legitimately a great open field angling tank. And it is legitimately an incredible Viper of a tank in terms of damage output. 
The Black Prince is one of the most fearsome tanks at its tier. But don't tell anyone that, uh, because people still treat this thing like it's hopeless, because its alpha strike is so low. It's got that 75 meter, I think, 20 pounder that the brutes have, but the 75 millimeter uh, that the rest of us have with 160 alpha strike. And that's not a lot, right? That's not a lot. And people get tapped by this thing and they think, well, didn't hurt much. I'll just keep going forward. And then suddenly the next tack comes in and goes, well, maybe I should start paying attention to that bloke over there. But really, I'm in no rush. It's only 160 alpha. How often can I, oh my God, I'm back in the garage. Because not only is it a, uh, a good gun in terms of accuracy, penetration and all that, it's fast and its DPM is clutch. And that means that you have a tank that can really output stealth damage. People don't expect it to have the kind of sting it has. Uh, heavy tanks, generally speaking, are not the DPM uh, monsters. Great angling there. What a great angle. Just as the fire was incoming, stuck it on a 15, 20 degree move, doing it again and again, just the wiggle, the jiggle, and that gun does not stop. It's now two on four. We're at two and a half thousand damage in a tier seven game with four and a half minutes still to go. And the caps are starting to tick in favor of the good guys. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is going to be an easy win for the Reds because there are now four bad guys left. Lots of hit points to go through. And we've lost a little bit here. Um... But look at, look at the DPM and the angles that this tank can present. Great hit point trade here too, by the way. Giving it up to that Sentinel for that low alpha damage. One shot only before he gets the angles back. And the Reds are playing into our hands. One at a time into a really well positioned tier 7 heavy with a lot of DPM. This is not a good, good news story for the Red team. Another 123 shot, takes the hit, rolls back out, and now it's one-on-one, -on -one, 4,169 DPM versus a lot of hit points. All that he wants to do is get across, bridge that gap. The angles are beautiful, the side scrape, the open field movement. Look at the tracks, everything is in his favor, and the DPM is starting to steamroll home. You cannot ignore it. At your own peril, you trade damage for distance with the Black Prince. Things are real good in Indivar's town tonight. Indivar Mala, you monster of rock and roll. Five and a half thousand damage. Six kills. Mastery. Kolobanov. High caliber. Steel wall. Oh, everything. Absolutely everything. 75,000 credits in a Black Prince. Boom. I'm Bushgrow. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching the channel. I had to feature that replay. It was an absolute cracker. Indivar, take a bow. You're the real MVP. I'm heading off to Hawaii for a little bit. Uh, there'll be videos dropping on the channel. There's going to be streams. If you want to check out in the links below, you'll see my uh, streaming channel is there. Go and subscribe to that. Uh, I'll be doing some other streams as well. Basically, just hanging out with the wang out, doing good things to bad people, and looking forward to getting back amongst it with you clowns in the near future. Until next time, look after yourselves, love you all, and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.